Wow, you guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. I got a great story for you today. Nashville's woman disabled adult children lived with her decaying corpse for at least two years after she died in their apartment with just a skeleton found lying in her bed. Mother of four remains were found inside of her home in Nashville, Tennessee. Her adult children, who are intellectually disabled, had been living in the home with the corpse. It is thought that they were living with their mother's remains since 2018. There was nothing but bones left. It was just a skeleton, said her brother, Anthony. An investigation has been launched into her death. Authorities do not expect foul play. My God. Police are investigating a woman's death after it emerged, her disabled children had been living with her rotting body for more than two years after she died. A Davidson County deputy had been serving an eviction notice on the home of Lorinda Jolly, 56, of Nashville, Tennessee, when they made the shocking discovery on October 21st. Jolly's remains were reportedly found on her bed under a pile of clothes. There was nothing left but bones. It was just a skeleton, he said. I called my niece and I asked her how long had my sister been deceased. She said since early 2017. I was shocked. All four of Jolly's adult children who are intellectually disabled have been living in a house with the corpse for at least, listen to this now, for at least two years. It's fucking pathetic. Oh my God. Anthony said he had not been the closest with his sister. And when he would call to check on her household, her children would say that she was not available to talk. Anthony claimed that he was prompt to ask police officers to carry out a wellness check on Jolly. Speaking on the discovery of his sister's remains, Anthony said she was on the bed. They piled clothes on top of her body and they stayed in the apartment with their decaying mother. They knew better, but they were going by what their mother said. They were obeying their mother's wishes. Just let her lay there, no matter what. Don't call nobody. And that's what they did. Her remains were reportedly found on her bed under a pile of clothes. Jolly's cause of death is unknown, and her body has been sent for an autopsy. There were no signs of trauma or foul play. Authorities said, authorities said that they don't suspect foul play in Jolly's death, but an investigation into the death has been launched. Her four children have been taken to a hotel while Adult Protective Services work at finding a caretaker for them. Now, when we discuss mental illness in the black community, mental illness in all communities, first of all, let me say that first and foremost, because I definitely don't want you to think it's just a stigma on black family. What it is, is we don't um, recognize and as welcoming uh, the science or the pseudoscience, whatever, of psychology the way of a lot of other cultures do and we just feel that we can pray it away 
You know, God can move it away. Uh, however, therapy is a good practice. And because we have such an adverse opinion for it or and about it, this is how you can have a situation where a mother is laying in the house dead for two years. They had to be more than just mentally challenged. That is a little bit off the chain. Would y'all say? Yeah. Just leave me a message and leave me your comment below. Let me know what you think. Because now the normalized crazy behavior has been normalized to the point that I'm like, do y'all think that's crazy? Or is it somebody out there saying, oh, well, you know, they just needed her check and they, or they wanted to be with their mother so bad. They loved her so much. They just left her. I don't know. Tell me what you think. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, and I will see you in the next video.